What's up mga amigo and mga amiga? It's another day and another tutorial video on my channel. Yeah. So by the way guys, nasira yung modem namin dito sa bahay that was uh, last two days ago and then the PLDT technical team respond to our request because we don't have internet since yesterday uh, they restore our internet just today okay so that's good so by the way I, I'm gonna show you the modem that they install on our our network this is the modem it's a IPTV ready it says here Wi-Fi modem and I think this is a uh, the brand of this modem is Prolink the model number is PR PRS 1241B so ito yung modem pinalit nila guys okay so this is the modem and then What's nice of this modem, meron siyang traffic shaper, tra traffic shaping ba yun? So, we're gonna check right now, okay? So, yeah. So, ito na yun, guys. We're gonna open our favorite browser, okay? And then, you're gonna input the IP address of your, mo of your modem, which is 192.168.1.1. That's the default IP address of PLDT route modem router. Okay, so username is admin PLDT and the password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. But I already changed the password because kailangan talaga magchange ng password. Okay, don't use the default password of the modem. So I'm gonna input my default password. I mean my my password. Okay, so click login. This is the interface of the router, and then let's check here. Our one interfaces we're going to use the interface A0 because it has the internet connection. So let's say, uh, okay, so we're going to advance. Of, uh, wait, wait, set up LAN. DHCP show client these are the devices connected to my router right now and there are plenty uh, ito yung mga devices using DHCP na IP so mag appear dito sa ano, DHCP client table of course kasi DHCP if yung devices nyo is naka static IP address it will not show up he here in DHCP client table because of course it's, it's it's a static IP not DHCP so meron din akong ano, program uh, ito yung program guys ito yung wireless network watcher so this will display all network uh, I mean it will display all devices connected to, to your router whether it's a DHCP IP or static IP na wireless network watcher so I, I'm gonna put this also on my on my description where to download this uh, software so let's go back here we're going to manage the bandwidth usage on all devices connected to my router kailangan yun guys kasi for example if one of my one of the devices here at home they're watching youtube watching online movies downloading something in torrent lahat ng bandwidth ng ano ng internet namin mapunta doon sa pc yung nag download at saka nag stream yung mga ibang devices dito mahina yung internet the internet is very slow or sometimes walang internet kasi nandoon na lahat sa sa ano sa yung nag-download so we're going to manage the bandwidth usage on my devices so i'm gonna show you now so click advance and then qos you click that and then there's traffic shaping so dito tayo mag manage ng bandwidth usage sa mga devices connected to this router easy lang talaga guys okay so as you can see meron na akong na ano na, na set up dito these are the following uh, mac address mostly guys mga cellphone to kasi <laughs> gusto ko yung cellphone at least 
uh, yung maximum uh, yung max download nila is 2 MB so na configure ko na yan lahat let's say okay we will gonna add traffic shaping ha so click add and, and then ito yung lumabas so one interface will gonna use a0 so yung mac address i'll gonna try this mac address gonna copy and then gonna paste it here okay so ito yung mac address na i-manage natin yung bandwidth usage nya which is this pc okay this desktop so we're going here up floor up floor means the this is the minimum upload speed up ceiling this is the maximum upload speed so let's say lagyan natin ng ano 200 so meaning 0.20 mbps or 200 kbps so up ceiling lagyan natin ng 1000 or 1 mbps so down floor meaning download minimum speed let's say 500 or or 0.50 0.50 mbps and the maximum yeah 2000 meaning 2 mbps so click apply ayun na save na and then save and apply so that's it we already add a device on our traffic shaping configuration madali lang di ba so so remember guys we assign this desktop at least 2 mbps yung maximum download speed niya okay so we will test it using speed test kung tama ba yung na-configure ko na 2 mbps lang talaga yung maximum download speed niya so okay let's click go let's speed test hindi pa rin gumagana <laughs> oh my god I'm going, uh, I will going to reboot the router so we're going to go to maintenance reboot and then reboot Okay, so please wait for 62, 61, 60 seconds, and so on and so forth. So let's wait. We will gonna balance all devices para pantay-pantay lahat yung uh, usage ng ano, bandwidth sa router na yun. Okay, this is very nice no, to have on your router na meron siyang traffic shaping. Traffic, traffic shaper ba yun? So whatever. So... Okay, so we're gonna speed test again. So let's try if 2 MB ba talaga yung uh, download speed niya to this desktop. Ayan guys. So mababa pa sa 2 MB. <laughs> At least 1.5 is fair enough. It's fair enough talaga. Kasi 2 MB lang yung maximum download speed niya. So 1.86, 1.87 download speed. So nag work siya. We need to reboot pala the router para mag-work yung bagong na-configure ko sa QoS. So, reboot the router before doing speed test. Okay? So, yun. Okay, that's it. 1.87, which is near to 2 MB. That's good enough, okay? That's it! So, simple lang talaga, guys. This is a nice feature to have on your router kasi para ma- manage naman natin yung bandwidth uh, usage sa mga devices on your network kasi for example may yung si Gabriel oh, nag online siya online gaming and then yung sister niya <laughs> nag streaming ng videos and watching YouTube tsaka nag download so yung game ni Gabriel naglalag of course because nang doon lahat yung bandwidth nang doon lahat yung ano yung speed ng internet sa nagda-download so that's why guys you can you can manage the bandwidth usage on the devices using this feature okay so it's very nice and it's so useful talaga especially guys if you are you have lots of devices connected to your router and you have only 5 mbps the maximum download speed that isp gave you so you need this feature para hindi mag lalag lahat devices yung ibang devices sa network mo so it's very simple diba so again guys thank you for watching this video and give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you're new subscribe ka na naman okay subscribe to my channel and you can click that notification icon so that if i have if i have new upload parang 
Uy, merong bagong na-upload si Pepero. So, better check it out. So, it's like that. Okay? So, click that notification icon on my channel. So, thank you guys and see you on my next video soon. Okay? So, bye for now and bye. 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 Bye.